Today is really tough. I spent my whole day trying to get everybody out of their problems. Uh, a lot of people needed help today. I was there, fortunately for them. But now I've had it up to my eyeballs. I'm a people pleaser by nature. Uh, it is a good thing and is also a very bad thing. Uh, just because people can take advantage of that. Uh, there are a lot of good people out there for sure. Uh, but unfortunately, they can be taken advantage of. The people who are helping, the people who are givers, they tend to look for good in everybody. In my eyes, all people are good, but they just make bad choices. Aside from that, I'm feeling a little adventurous, so I think I'm gonna try to find a spot to skate. So much greenery, if you guys can see this. The reason being is just that <laughs> it rains so much, obviously, because it's Oregon. Winter is probably the hardest time, uh, at least for me, when it comes to uh, skating. There is no indoor skate park that I have access to. I don't even think I'm all that good enough to access the private parks over in Portland. I know that there's a few private spots over there that. Uh, that are exclusive for pros and hams and all that stuff. One of the biggest goals that I have, I would eventually like to have my own private skate, uh, skate park. I didn't grow up with a lot of things that facilitated my uh, growth as a skateboarder. One of the major people that used to be in my life that pushed me uh, was Frankie and he, uh, Frankie if you're out there, Thank you, uh, you know, kudos to you, man. Hell yeah, it was hard being able to try half the tricks that I normally wouldn't have tried. I always saw him to be as like my big brother. But you know, now that I'm on my own, I can, I have the ability to go out and get what I want. I've always had that ability. I just never saw it at hand that clearly. You know? I'm really one of those late bloomers. Uh, hi. Clean. Duration, two and a half hours. Now that I have the house clean, I gotta do some editing real quick, and then I'm gonna try to fix that rail. Once it cooled down, the legs started to warp, so I have to go and fix that real quick before I get skating. Went all the way to the school, got out, set up all the camera stuff to find out that my skateboard's in the house and the rail is in the house. So now that I'm back here, I already went to go pick up the skateboard 
and the rail to get to it. That was pretty hard. Skating a small rail, uh, trying to do combos out of it is a little challenging. You barely have time to set up. Uh, tricks into grinds are a little easier, but uh, tricks out of grinds are a little bit more complex. I don't have enough room to be able to uh, steady myself. This is literally how Oregon is every single day. You know, you get the great sides of having uh, a lot cleaner air, a lot really green, uh, a lot of trees, a lot of plant life. However, you do have the downside of not having plenty of sun. So I'm going to be wiring up uh, this uh, beautiful juniper here. Wait for all the homies to get off work. We're in the clouds. Nice bank over here. You got a launch ramp right over here into the foam pit. A bowl right over here. Uh, that they fixed up and they got a uh, vert ramp on the other side.
Just finished up skating the D block. That place was fun, it was cool. I got to talk to a lot of, lo a lot of the locals. Overall, great time. One con is that there was a lot of people that skate that park. Bikers, scooters, skateboarders. It can only hold so many people until people start getting hurt. Right now, baby mama and the kids are already home. Uh, I was meaning to pick baby up from her, but I was just way, I was there for way too long. Uh, I think I was there for about two hours. like this video please let me know by clicking that like button if you guys have any video ideas for me to do please let me know in the comment section down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching my name is Joyce and remember to slap that subscribe button for my future videos I'll see you guys on the next one Later.